Hey everybody, okay, so I was just uh, taking my daughter to basketball camp and I dropped her off and on the way home I was praying the rosary and it was Luminous Mysteries today and something just really hit me powerfully and I was going to write about it when I got home but I figured I'm probably not going to have time today based on what I got going on so I thought I would just pull over real quick and make this quick video and kind of share with you what what I felt. Um, the mystery that was most powerful for me today um, was the wedding at Cana. And normally when I'm praying that rosary, you know, I'm thinking about how Mary intercedes for us, you know, with Jesus because they were at the wedding and the wine ran short and she went to Jesus and said, you know, they have no wine. And he said, you know, woman, what does your concern have to do with me? And, and then he he worked his miracle. He, he turned the water into wine. What was most powerful for me today um, was the fact that Mary's response was so totally different than mine. <laughs> totally different. You know, me having been in that situation and seeing that the wine ran short, my initial response probably would have been, okay, how do I fix this? Would have been calling everybody I can think of that's a that owns a winery or that is in the business, you know, and trying to fix it because that's what I try to do. I try to fix it. But Mary's response was so totally different. What she did was she went to Jesus and she presented her problem to him. Now, what did she do after that? He said, woman, what does your concern have to do with me? And that's all he said to her. He didn't say, yes, I'm going to fix this. He didn't say, you know, I'm not going to fix it. He he really didn't give her an answer. He just asked her a question. But it was a rhetorical question, I think, because Mary's response after that was she went to the waiters and she said, do whatever he tells you. So I thought about that and I thought, oh my gosh, what does that show about Mary? It shows that she trusted no matter what. And it doesn't say after that that she went around saying, okay, do this and do that and let's try and, you know, call so-and-so or get so-and-so in here. She just simply said, here, do what he, do what he tells you. And she let it go. And so me right now thinking to myself, I've got all these things that I'm praying about and I'm trying to fix them. And I'm praying about them and I'm presenting them to, to Jesus, but then I'm still trying to fix them. So today, it kind of opened up this whole new window for me. I'm not letting them go. And I wonder how many of us do that. We take our petitions to Jesus, or maybe we take them to Mary to give to Jesus, but we don't let them go. I gotta assume that Mary, after that, when she said, do whatever he tells you, she let it go and she enjoyed the wedding feast because she trusted. She, she didn't know that he was gonna do anything. Or maybe she did. She, she knew that he would take care of it in some way. She didn't know how. She didn't know that he was going to turn water into wine because it was probably beyond what she could even imagine. And so I look at my own situations and I think to myself, I'm trying to fix things, but really what I need to do is I need to let it go because the real solution to these problems are beyond what I can even imagine. So I wonder how many of us today, and I guess maybe that's why it was on my heart so strong, is I wonder how many of us today have these problems and these things we're trying to fix and we're not able to fix them and we're getting frustrated. And I think maybe the reason why we're getting frustrated is because we can't really even envision something so great, something so miraculous, something so spectacular that he's gonna do. And he's just waiting for us to just enjoy the feast. He's been waiting for us to enjoy life and just let him do it. So that's kind of what came out of my prayer this morning. So if any of you out there are in the same boat that I am and trying to fix things, I think maybe what he's saying this morning is just stop trying to fix it. He's going to fix it. And I thought about my, my nephew and maybe that's a message for him too, you know, it's just, he's going to fix it and it's going to be beyond what any of us can even imagine if we let him. We just have to sit back today 
and enjoy the feast, enjoy life, enjoy the beauty of the day, the summer day, and just wait, wait for him to change that ordinary thing of water into something, something better. Okay, that's what I had, um, that's what came out of prayer this morning. I hope maybe it blesses you the way that it blessed me this morning. All right, have a great day. Have a great feast today, y'all. All right, bye-bye.